Okay, folks, we're going to do a thing I like to call Explaining to Americans. And today we're going to talk about the metric system. Yay! I know that's one of the uh, most popular forms of measurement in the United States. Not. Well, strangely enough, uh, it is not a communist plot, contrary to uh, some opinion. Now, if you do a little research, you'll only find three countries out of the entire planet Earth that doesn't use the metric system. One is Myanmar, you know, the former Burma. The other one's Liberia. Gee, what a backwoods place that is. Lumped in with those two is America. I just don't get it. Now, the reason the rest of the world uses the metric system, which actually came around in 1799 in France, is because it makes sense for international trade, and it's just simpler on the noodle for figuring conversions out. If you're into lazy math that's more accurate, the metric system is your friend. Now, the British, of course, still keep using the imperial system in conjunction with the metric system, and most UK residents and citizens understand the metric system very, very well. Now, of course, it's uh, more about homage to the old imperial system because you don't want to get, you know, Her Majesty upset by ditching it. So it's, I think, more of a tradition to keep some of that around for the Brits. Now, let's get right down to the basic, beautiful simplicity of the metric system. If you're to envision a three-dimensional cube, I'll put the picture up to make it easier. Now, this cube is 10 centimeters by 10 centimeters by 10 centimeters. If you were to fill it up with water, you immediately know several things. For example, that volume is exactly one liter. It weighs exactly one kilogram. And you ask yourself, well, what if I freeze that water? What temperature would it freeze at? Well, it's going to freeze at zero, because that's the lowest level of temperature until you go into the negatives. And let's boil that water. Ooh, I wonder when it boils. It boils at a hundred Celsius. Woo! Now these miracle calculations are very simple, standardized, and predictable. And the best part is when you're doing business with somebody around the world and you say, hey, send me the 164 gram package. He knows what you're talking about. I mean, come on folks. The drug cartel in Colombia switched to the metric system years ago with their kilos of cocaine. Come on, you don't want the Colombians to outdo you now. This is America we're talking about. Now, you Americans probably don't realize that the metric system is actually legal in your country. Yeah, it is. It's legal. And it's already crept in. You know, when you uh, purchase electricity for your home, or it's, it's generated in, uh, you know, and used in kilowatts and megawatts and gigawatts. Same with the storage of your uh, memory cards. It's all, you know, megabits and gigabits. Everything's metric, folks. And all those uh, Viagra pills you're taking, yep, they're dispensed and manufactured in milligrams for dosage. America, I want you to join the revolution of the metric system. It's going to be okay. You know, you got any problems, you call me. I'll help work it out for you. Now, a funny example of the lack of metric knowledge is when Nomadic Fanatic came up to Canada last year to visit me and Just Incredible. And uh, we put him near some metric signage. And uh, here's what happened. Think metric. Okay, I'm thinking. Okay, get, 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 go to the sign, behind the sign, and stare at our camera. Okay, I want you to think metric. Say something metric. Um, kilometers and, and, and meters. And um, metrically speaking... Um, <laughs> meters uh, are in kilometers. It's about Celsius degrees here in... So I give up. How many, how many gallons? Fahrenheit is 30 kilometers an hour. So in the meantime, folks, stay safe, stay metric, and I'll talk to you 